Bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite. Estou testando o som do meu... E este fio é muito curto para o enquadramento que eu... Jus, você está me ouvindo? Ok, acho que sim. Au! Valendo, Jus. Valendo, Jus. Hello, makers. This is Nara from Meatlix. Today we have our premiere. We are launching our web series Yarn Over the Globe. And we release a new episode every Friday to show you what happened in my week. I traveled to Paris, France and Cologne, Germany to cover two events. But for the first time I was supposed to take pictures using my cell phone and camera and operate my two gimbals and a tripod at the same time. Thankfully, my film director Jules did a fantastic job. Before you watch it, please subscribe our new channel and give us a thumbs up if you find this episode helpful or entertaining. Welcome to Fiberverse! La Droguerie, a French family business for unique DIY projects. La Droguerie is a French family business that has been providing fashion accessories for 40 years. In this shop, customers can find exclusive ideas, fabrics, patterns, knitting yarns, earring mounts, notebooks, zippers and bias binding. They offer a wide range of supplies like beads, buttons, ribbons and more to help customers create their own unique garments. Whether you want to customize your bags, make a pair of earrings, knit a hat, replace a button or knit a gift for a newborn, this shop has everything you need. Their staff will guide you through every step of the way. This is a must-see destination for us makers that visit Paris. La Bien Aimé, a yarn company adapting to the times. Aimé Gilly needs no introduction. She is the one of the most influential people in our industry and her yarns are highly coveted by makers all over the world. I visited her pop-up store and was impressed by Amy's attention to detail in every aspect of the shop. So thank you, Amy, for your invitation and hospitality. Cell is a new independent yarn store in Paris that offers a unique and local selection of yarns. The store is located in a charming shopping alley and features two sides of different local brands. You can find a great selection of local and regional yarns near the front cache, as well as the standard European yarns from Italy and many other countries on the other side. It is indeed a hidden gem for any yarn lover. The staff is super friendly and speaks excellent English. You should try it for your next yarn adventure in Paris. Le Tricoteau Volant is a Parisian yarn shop with a great selection of yarns and supplies. Their friendly and unique service is a must visit for any yarn lover. The owner can help new knitters in selecting the right yarn and providing color advice. They offer a variety of yarn weights, pattern books, needles and notions. The shop also has a curated selection of handspun yarns for sale. During my trip to Paris, there was a national strike that heavily affected transportation. I had to take a long train trip to Cologne instead. Even though I was stressed about my upcoming broadcast coverage in Germany, as soon as I arrived in the city, I imagined to complete my travel and get some rest. This hotel is very close to the event. I'm going to turn the camera for you to see. Here is the museum. Hey, look at the wind, guys. And immediately passing through this corridor, we arrive at the hotel.
mas foi muito bom o primeiro dia. É uma coisa totalmente diferente dos festivais de tricô e crochê que a gente vem cobrindo. É uma coisa totalmente orientada para os negócios. Então os approaches, a forma de se comunicar, a forma de apresentar os produtos é também muito diferente. Agora estamos ouvindo o sino da catedral. A Filipa está aqui, a Mary, a Gazela. Ainda é dia e são sete e meia. E daqui a pouco eu mostro o que a gente vai jantar. Welcome to the world's largest platform for textile handcrafts. The International Trade Fair for Handcrafts and Hobbies showcased a wide range of innovations in sewing, crocheting, knitting, embroidering and other handcrafts. The event's motto of this year, Be Creative, Be Unique, emphasized the importance of being unique for businesses to optimize success. This year event was a huge success with a wide range of innovation products and techniques on display. One trend that stood out was tufting, which adds a fun and playful element to any project. The handcrafts industry is providing that uniqueness can compete against fast fashion and we think that next year event in 2024 This promises to go back again. Episode of Yarn Over the Globe.